Have you been waiting for spring? I know I have. I, I love spring. It is my absolute favorite time of the year. You know, I love watching things come back to life after our cold, yucky, long, long Michigan winter. So I'm Kate, and this is my 141 Life, and I am blessed beyond measure to have a community of women who are gathering together to uplift and encourage each other to build their lives on the foundation of the wisdom of God. That's what my 141 Life is. It is a wise woman builds her house but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands. And I don't know about you, but that foolish one is in my house far more than I want her to. So spring, what am I doing? Um, I have, I'm gonna move the camera. You ready? And I'm gonna see if I can get that. Okay, over on that table, I have my tomatoes started. I've got sweet potato slips started. I'm pretty excited. I am looking forward to spring. Okay, now that was weird. Now, see if I can get it back together for you. Okay, so what do you do in your garden? There is this um, romantic, um, I don't know, I don't know if romantic is even the right word, but this picture of our mind that if you have chickens, oh, let them in your garden. And the answer is no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have been working in my garden beds. I switched to mostly container garden in, within my garden and it worked so well last year that I am doing it again, which my husband's super excited because he doesn't want to have to move all these containers. So yeah, it's not pretty, but it works so good. So I have been um, testing my soil and adding in what needs to be in there so I can get ready to plant what I want to plant. I have garlic that um, this nice guy who knows so much about organic gardening at the local feed store told me to plant garlic last fall. And I'm like, I've never planted garlic. But I followed his instructions and I did what I needed to do to the soil. And my garlic is like this high and it's fabulous, which is the good thing. I'm like, this is great. Um, my chickens aren't even bothering it because I'm letting them in my garden at this point because I really have nothing but the garlic planted and they've ignored my garlic. So I kind of think that chickens don't like garlic. So I went ahead and I planted strawberries because I did some research and strawberries can handle a little bit of cold weather that we are probably going to experience because it's Michigan. Three days ago, it was almost 70 and um, right now it's like 20 outside. Welcome to Michigan. But here's the thing about chickens in my garden. All the other beds that I have prepared and put fertilizer in, the organic stuff that smells, you know, they have dug in and torn up, including my strawberry bed. I planted 15 strawberry plants and they have torn up every single one of them. Why am I telling you this? Because, you know, we allow things in that tear up what God wants to plant in us. You know, in Matthew 13, that talks about Jesus told this parable of the farmer scattering seed in the various soils that things were put on. And even though I had prepared the soil and the soil was great for these strawberries, I let something in that plucked them all out. Strawberry um, chickens don't just want the bugs. They dig and they scratch. So they will go in and dig and scratch and wreck every plant that they come in contact with. So whatever God is planting in you, we have to guard it. I mean, this is why my tomatoes are underneath grow lights. They're by a sunny south facing window, you know, so I'm doing what I can to help them grow into wonderful tomato plants that feed us, feed our neighbors, feed my family. It'll be great but I have to guard them from what will come in, try to tear them up. So as the Lord is planting something in you, 
Don't let somebody else come along and snatch it away. God wants to plant things in us. And it's, you know, if, if our soil of our heart is good and he plants the truth in us, we've got to guard that truth. We've got to seek his truths like treasures that they are and know that other people aren't going to like it, maybe not agree with it, maybe have their own opinion, but this is the only opinion that matters is his. And if he says it's truth, then gosh, golly, you know what? It's truth. So here I am in my 141 life seeking wisdom. I want to do it. And I'm going to plant in my garden. I got to prepare the soil. God wants to prepare the soil in your heart. And at times he needs to put to us underneath grow lights. So we, we, you know, grow better, but watch out for the chickens in your garden with what God is planting in you because chickens only belong in the garden when there's nothing you value planted in there because what you can have one thing planted in there and that's what they're going to go get seriously. Yeah. That's a chicken in the garden. Watch for chickens in your garden that want to dig up the truth that God is planting in you, the scripture that he is wanting you to meditate on, to feast on, to dig into and root deeply into your spirit. The chickens are going to come and dig it up and uproot it. So don't let chickens in your garden. Hey, my 141 life, it's real. The struggle is real, but you know what? The community is real. And I invite you over to my Facebook group. It's a private group. So go to Facebook and slash it and say my 141 life. And there we are. I invite you to join us. So I hope this blessed you. And remember, if something is coming along, trying to dig up the truth that God is rooted in you, kick it out of the garden. God bless. Oh, there it is.